Jerry Ryan, Star Trek's iconic Seven of Nine, turned down her career-defining role four times. But why did she do so? And what role did she play in Obama becoming president? Follow us through this video as we reveal rare photos and many such untold truths about the life of Jerry Ryan. Jerry Lynn Ryan was born on February 22, 1968, in Munich, West Germany. Her father, Jerry Zimmerman, served in the Army while her mother, Sharon, was a social worker. When Jerry retired from the Army, he moved his family from Munich to Patica, Kentucky. So, Ryan had a pretty normal childhood. After high school, she pursued a degree in theater at Northwestern University and graduated in 1990. Ryan has always been fascinated with the entertainment industry. She has participated in numerous beauty pageants and was crowned Miss Illinois in 1989. Although she lost out in the Miss America 1990 pageant, she still finished as the third runner-up. With her degree in theater, Ryan traveled to Los Angeles to become a full-time actress. She made her acting debut in the 1984 ABC series, Who's the Boss? And this was followed by guest roles in TV series such as Melrose Place, Matlock, and The Sentinel. She was cast as a regular in the sci-fi TV series, Dark Skies. And while the series did not perform so well, it was very critical to Ryan's breakthrough as an actress as it would announce her to the sci-fi industry. So, in 1997, Jerry was called up for what would be the biggest role in her career. She was cast in Star Trek Voyager as a Borg drone. Her distinctive physical appearance, including the iconic silver bodysuit and Borg implants, also made the character unforgettable. Ryan's skillful acting received acclaim, including a 2001 Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress on Television. For this role, Ryan was nominated four times for the Saturn Awards, which she finally won in 2001. Following the end of the series, she was featured in the rom-com Down With Love, and her first film lead was in The Last Man, where she played the last woman on Earth. Ryan's life and career looked not so bad from the outside because she was so skilled at concealing her personal life from the wandering eyes of the media. But behind the scenes, she really had a lot going on. Ryan was perfect for her Seven of Nine character in Star Trek, and she, of course, has multiple awards to celebrate her career success in this role. But what many people may not know is that Jerry hated this role at first. As a matter of fact, she turned it down four times before the producer Jerry Taylor was able to convince her. Why did she do it? Well, you see, Ryan wanted to be seen much more than just an object of sexual affection. She felt that the role was created as seduction for the young male population. Actress Kate Mulgrew also kicked against it too. She hated that the producers of the show were trying to sexualize the female characters and so had announced that she would have no part in it. This was her major reason for kicking against a relationship with Commander Chakotay in the show. Anyway, in an open interview, she revealed that she was very uncomfortable when Ryan joined the show. She felt like her role was enough, but when she rejected the sexualization concept, Seven of Nine was introduced. No wonder Ryan didn't want the role. But somehow, producer Jerry Taylor was able to convince her that she was going to be part of something much bigger than sex appeal. True to his words, Ryan's character not only boosted the show's ratings, but also brought so much more substance to the show's plot. But there's something else about the show that a lot of people got wrong. A lot of people believed that the main reason why Jerry got a part in Star Trek was because of her relationship with the show producer, Brandon Braga. But far from that, her romance with Braga only started after she joined the show. When Mulgrew said that she was uncomfortable with Jerry Ryan in the show, nobody believed that she was going to take it up the way she did. There existed so much tension between the two actresses that Jerry would fall sick at night knowing that she had scenes with Mulgrew the following day. But we heard that things got a little better after she started dating Braga, and so people would say that she only started a relationship with the producer as protection from Mulgrew. Anyway, Ryan and Braga enjoyed a blissful relationship while it lasted. They broke up in 2004, two years after the show ended. Did Mulgrew and Ryan manage to patch things? I don't believe that they are enemies, but you tell me, doesn't that smile seem a little fake to you? Unfortunately, Ryan's love life wasn't going to get any less dramatic. In 1991, the actress met future Republican political candidate Jack Ryan at a charity event. It was an instant connection, and by the following year, Jack was walking down the altar with her. 
The couple welcomed their first son, Alex, on August 15, 1994. They were together for eight years until their divorce in 1999. While they cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for the separation, the truth would be revealed later on in the most dramatic way, and it became the ultimate scandal of the year. Jack Ryan started campaigning for the U.S. senatorial seat in Illinois in 2003. As part of the procedures, he was asked to present his divorce records, which he did. But before this, he had agreed with his wife that their custody records were never to be made public as they foresaw that it would affect their son. For some reason, the Los Angeles Superior Court judge, Robert Schneider, would against their consent release their custody records, and all hell would break loose. The reports revealed that six years ago, Jack Ryan compelled Jerry to perform sex acts in nightclubs in New York, New Orleans, and Paris. Describing one of those clubs, Jerry said, a bizarre club with cages, whips, and other apparatus hanging from the ceiling. In his defense, Jack said, I did arrange romantic getaways for us, but that did not include the type of activity she described. All this was too much drama for Jack, so he withdrew his candidacy for the elections and this made his major opponent, Barack Obama, win. It was a rough time for them, but Jerry claims that they still maintained friendship afterward. Ryan found love again much later in her life, and this time it stayed. She got married to French chef Christophe Aimé in 2007 and they welcomed their daughter the following year. I think part of the reason why Jerry did so much to avoid the seven of nine rule was so that she doesn't attract so much attention to her body. She was terrified of stalkers, but she accepted the role and there was very little she could do to handle the situation after then. Jerry had so many stalkers that she avoided public events. This, as she revealed in her interviews, was her major reason for missing Star Trek conventions. In 2001, Marlon Astacio Pagdakan was arrested for stalking Ryan and Braga and was held on a $405,000 bail. Jerry reported that Pagdakan willfully, maliciously, and repeatedly followed and harassed her. The accused pleaded not guilty, but a social account with his name was traced on the actress's fan sites expressing his love for her. He was later released but was also arrested again in 2007 in Burlingame, California for cyber-stalking members of a wrestling club. What is she doing now? After Star Trek Voyager, Jerry Ryan became an established name in the industry, so it became easy to get prominent roles. In 2005, she was featured in the TV pilot Commuters, a suburban version of Desperate Housewives. That same year, she was cast as Charlotte Morgan in the teen drama film O.C. Another recognized feature was in the legal drama Shark, where she played Los Angeles County District Attorney Jessica Delvin. She was also in Kevin Tencharion's short film, Mortal Kombat Rebirth. In 2020, at age 56, Jerry would reprise her role as Seven of Nine in Star Trek Picard. When Jerry Ryan is not acting, she advocates for domestic violence victims. She has also worked with many charity foundations and spearheaded AIDS awareness campaigns. These days, Ryan enjoys quality time cooking with her husband, Chef Christophe Aimé. They have built such a lovely family and in all her achievements in career and life, Ryan revealed that family is always the most important thing. Always your marriage, your children. That's life. That's what's important. The work is something to keep us fulfilled and feeling more whole and balanced, but you've got to prioritize and family has to come first. Jerry Ryan, now 55 years old, doesn't look a day over 40. She lives with her family in Los Angeles, California. The actress has an estimated net worth of $20 million. And that's just about it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out other videos on the end screen of beautiful actresses from yesteryears.